we were talking about a very common money market instrument called commercial paper. This is a Houston's promissory note which matures at a particular time period and sold by companies for short term funds. Short term funds for a company are usually working capital requirements. And I explained why working capital is important. Yesterday I explained that. Now, problem was some RBI guidelines of 1997-98 financial year, which said that the net worth of a company has to be 4 crores. I explained net worth. Then it is CP issue is connected with working capital limit set by the banks for a company and there are substitutes which create a immense problem. So, the company thought what is the point of taking all this trouble selling CP if my working capital limit goes down by the amount I sell CP. Very funny clause in 1997 98 financial year that they did. And then of course, the usual ones that if you want to sell CP, the public must have confidence in your company so that you do not default payment or repayment of the money that you borrow. So, you show the credit rating grades, the rates. So, you have to go to a credit rating agency and get your financial health checkup and get a report and then you can sell CP and the other the characteristic of CP was it was freely transferable and negotiable which is a kind of a technical expression essentially means ownership can change if you go to secondary market and sell it. So, you can have a secondary market you are not stuck with it if you can buy find a buyer you do not like it you can sell it off. Now, over time in 3 4 years time what happened they delinked from the working capital limit thing CP. So, CP is in addition to working capital limit given you by given to you by the banks. So, CP can give you more working capital if you require number 1 number 2 what this delink what they revised was the minimum issue size that can be sold to an investor initially it was 5 CP and each CP was 5000 rupees or no 5 lakh. So, 25 lakhs one has to invest to buy CP that also was ridiculous it was too much too constrained. So, what they did was ok minimum issue size would be 1 CP only if you want to buy you can buy multiple of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 20 whatever no upper limit no upper limit minimum is there you have to buy at least 1 CP not 5 CP anymore this is also they did. Now, and then they revised the maturity period it was about 6 months or so from 30 days to 6 months or something uh, initially and uh, uh, no 3 months to 6 months 91 days to 6 months which they made it from a fortnight 15 days to 1 year. So, that is a much range wider range of uh, the maturity period much flexible it can be 3 months CP it can be 6 months 7 months 8 months 8 and a half months whatever. So, that also they improved. Now, if you look into the CP market I will show you the data it will see a curve lying like uh, other deposits. RBI's other deposits light flat on x axis for number of years. So, CP market did not develop at all for the initial years quite a few years and then they took off and they are doing much better now. So, the data I will show you and then what they found that the CP they are only very interestingly enough I am not going to do much research here two types of companies were selling CPs all right two types of companies were initially selling CPs. One was the manufacturing companies very few 
and some financial companies very interesting were selling CPs not manufacturing so not working capital requirement financial capital selling CPs would quite very well be there to cannot have a lot of working capital requirement they will have repayment requirements financial companies they are short of money for various reasons. So, they were selling CPs initially and the secondary market for CP was nearly non existent I do not know whether it exists now hardly existed. So, somebody bought CP they did not bother to go to the secondary market to resell it because the maturity is for initially it was 6 months they did not bother to go to the secondary market. And the reason for very small CP market and hardly zero growth CP market as I have already mentioned were the reasons that you already know. One was the working capital vis a vis CP money. Second was a very stringent requirement was on the credit rating. You sold a CP you got a credit rating done your CP is 3 months 6 months old as soon as 6 months is over you will have to sell a CP again. The RBI said which I did not mention that if the credit rating of your company is more than 2 months old it is not valid anymore go to the credit rating agency and again get a rating done. The CP sellers <laughs> had a huge headache I do not know why government of India or RBI would make rules like that. 2 months old only if it is more than 2 months old go and get a credit rating done and it costs the company it is a headache also because so much papers so many papers have to be given information then they will judge and evaluate the financial health of your company. Sometimes they may be the credit rating organization may be sending a person over to the company sit there somewhere and do the job collection of information and you know how they do they come and sit here do the job collection of information etcetera and the companies people also may be attached to him or them to help them with all sorts of information etcetera that they require other than periodic supply of chai and other things. So, it became a headache 2 months old cancel credit rating again pin banao usko. Then another thing was very interesting issue this is an economics issue if you are selling CP all right and there is a CP rate that will be market determined how many people want to invest how many people are trying to sell ok. Now, if that interest rate is higher than bank finance All right. higher than the bank finance rate where you can negotiate with a bank who knows you for a loan at an interest rate in addition to the working capital a short term loan or something then it is not worth going to the CP market. So, the CP rate is very important here in relation to the bank interest rate the lending rate they are competing. Suppose bank A has given me a working capital limit, but I know bank B they know me maybe I can negotiate a loan short loan instead of going through all this credit rating E O R B I permission to sell C P go to the market contact buyers of C P S and then sell them and then the discount rate which is uncertain. So, I will look into the current interest rate or the discount rate of CPs. So, these two rates were competing with each other. So, unless the CP discount rate is substantially low than the bank lending rate companies would have very little incentive to go to the CP market it is a it is an option, but whether I would use the option if bank can give me money at a cheaper rate why would I go to CP rate or if bank gives me or can lend me money at substantially higher rate than the CP rate 
Of course, I will go for the CP market and go and take that headache, go through that trouble and sell them. All right. And then of course, the minimum issue size was a problem of 25 lakhs. So, companies who had institutions which has a lot of money like LIC etcetera were not interested because they preferred uh, on the one hand they made uh, the issue size 25 lakhs initially. On the other hand if you are expecting LIC to come in because it is 25 lakhs and not normally an investor would come in with 25 lakhs overnight all right has surplus funds of 25 lakhs and you are expecting institutions like non banks like LIC or UTI which has lot more money to come in well why would they for 6 months what is the point I go into a long term investment they rather go to long term investment because the insurance policies that they sell are very long term. So, they know that the policy would because of those policies that they sell the premium would accrue over a long time period. So, they would have a long term investment plan with that money and they would not be interested in the short term. On the other hand the issue size was too large. So, small investors cannot come in there was a problem and then very interestingly enough if you look into when you start working at the end of the financial year they will give you an income tax return obligation. The company may be deducting your income tax but the company would also tell you that in order to save tax you can make this kind of so called investments or savings. You can buy LIC policy, you can make mutual fund investments sometimes they are tax exempted, you can buy infrastructure bonds, you can buy national saving certificates from the post offices and there are various kind of categories of investment that income tax office has in India. 80 B. 80 C, 80 CC, 80 D. So, various kinds of tax exemption clause are there, groups are there, where if you put money, then some portion of your income tax will be exempted. Now, even after when they made it 5 lakhs or something, would I be interested in putting money in CP? I would be interested if the return is very high. Second, I would be interested if I, there is some tax exemption like a small investor I am talking about. If there is a tax exemption infrastructure bond job government sell cut there they put a clause that the uh, up to 1 lakh rupees of investment there will be an income tax exemption of 20 percent or something or 5 percent 10 percent your income tax will be exempted. CP unfortunately did not have any income tax exemption clause government did not give that. CP. So, small investors were shying away from the CP market. So, it was a very underdeveloped market. Now, what we find when I look at the data I have 2 3 years old data I have been hunting for it I am not getting it anywhere. I wanted to look into who are the companies who are selling CPs and I found that more than 3 fourths of the CP three fourths that means 75 percent are being sold by leasing and finance companies. Companies which lease out machines etcetera to smaller companies manufacturing companies who cannot buy them. So, they rent machines for their business for their production and finance companies there are various kinds of finance companies are there. There are finance companies who do higher purchase you know higher purchase you know higher purchase you want to buy a car they would fund it and installment wise you return that money to the company this is higher purchase even the higher purchase Indian middle class family used to buy household goods like refrigerator, furniture, uh, free refrigerator then the TV many things you can buy through higher purchase HIRE higher purchase. So, these are various kinds of finance companies exist in a country that these finance companies and leasing companies were primarily selling CPs in India I have data up to 2009 I think uh, 70 
five three fourths. So, seventy five percent of the total amount of CP have been sold by them. So, I will look into that data later. Manufacturing companies are very small, around 15, 16, 17 percent, and the rest are some financial institutions who are selling CPs. I wonder which financial institutions are selling CPs, must be non banks. I do not have the details of the data. I could not find it in RBI annual report. I hunted and searched and searched and searched at least two, three, four annual reports. I just could not find the CP details. Who are the companies selling them? If you find them, lend that data to me. I will pass it on. I just could not find which kind of company is selling CPs. I found some aggregate data which I have for 6, 7, and 8. And 8 financial year, maybe 9 I have added. Beyond 9, I do not have any data. All right, I will show that to you later. Now, CP market is done. And these are like discount bonds, they are sold at a discount and your interest is the discount rate. So, when it matures you get by the face value of the CP. So, 20, 20, 5 lakh CP is may be sold at a discount of 5 percent say. If it is 5 percent then how much of 5 lakh 5 percent will be 5000 right. Now, 25000, 25000, 25000. So, so 25000 will your income if it is sold at 5000 after 6 months, if you invest 5 lakhs. So, this is the way it goes. So, minus 25000 you give to the company, 5 lakh minus 25000 is 4 lakh 75000 and when it matures, selling at a discount means this basically and when it matures the company gives you 5 lakhs. So, you have to wait 6 months to get your interest in. The discount rate is the interest rate simple all right. Now, I come to another one which is very similar its name is CD It's very similar to CP CD CD is not your CD the CD that you use not compact disc, but this CD is Certificate of deposit CD, it is called in short CD. CD, CP names are rhyming words like you know abbreviations, they are very similar also. So, I can explain this today and then next day I will explain other instruments which will take much more time. C CPs are sold by uh, companies for short term funds, CD is, is very interesting, it is sold by banks for short term funds and non banks may also be included yes all right. So, banks and non banks particularly long term instrument like IDBI, ICICI they request short term funds or financial institutions like banks they can sell CDs. Banks can go to the call market, you have already learned that. Now, I am talking about another instrument which they can use, and also the big financial other institutions, non banks like LIC, UTI, GIC, you name them, this uh, industrial development banks, SIDB, IDBI, ICICI, then Industrial Reconstruction Bank of India, IRBI the various banks are there non banks. If you want to look up the list, you can open Bole's book and you will get them. In fact, details of them also individually, very interesting to read them. Now, these institutions, these financial institutions if they require money, some of them can use CP, but most of them will be not be allowed CP, they would be selling CDs. Very interesting, I should have had this first. CDs were introduced a year before CPs. It's in 1989 they were introduced to the Indian money market. Till quite recent, this CP CD existed in the Western world, God knows for how many years. 
to the Indian money market is still a new thing, 20, 22 years old, 23 years. The CDs were introduced as usance promissory notes and they are very much like bank fixed deposits. They take the money, it is fixed for a shorter time period like a very short term fixed deposit and it carries a fixed interest rate which is and has a maturity period. And they are also freely transferable and negotiable instruments. You can sell CDs in the secondary market. This is unlike a fixed deposit. If my fixed deposit is there in the bank, bank has that money and I cannot have it, but I can break it at a cost. But I can, the, the fixed deposit, I do not need it here, I cannot sell off that fixed deposit to somebody else and go and open a fixed deposit account in another bank, I cannot do that. But CDs are like usance promissory notes, it is like a bond paper lying with me and I can go and sell it, all right. But they are very much like fixed deposit, money is stuck for a shorter period of time. Now and they can have a secondary market. And since banks are involved with CDs practically risk free because banks in India primarily we are talking about public sector banks and big non banks, nobody mistrusts them, nobody what you call that they, they all trust non banks this kind of non banks and banks. So, they can buy CDs. According to the RBI guidelines on 1997-98, banks can issue CDs without any upper limit and anyone can purchase them. The minimum denomination of CD just like CP was 5 lakhs and the minimum issue size to a single investor unlike CP was only 10 lakhs, very interesting. Here they go bank CD could sell a minimum issue size to a single investor of 10 lakhs, that means 2 CDs they have to buy, whereas in case of CP they made it initially 25 lakhs. So, when I read them I really do not understand why would somebody like RBI such a wise institution would make rules like that. CPI company, companies are not like banks, they do not have so much cash even if the company is doing well and if they need cash all right, they made it initially 25 lakhs and CD bank sell kar rahe. Unke itna source hai of funds, RBI hai, other banks hai like call market and this much. Minimum issue size was 10 lakhs. So, it was a multiple of 5 lakhs every CD that is the same thing. Maturity period varied between 3 months and 1 year. In case of CP the maturity period was 91 days to 6 months initially. Now, it was in right from the beginning it was 3 months and 1 year much more flexible you can see and you will look at the data CP and CD market side by side you can clearly see the difference in the amount that they are transacting to this in instrument. CP ko suru se suffocate karke rakh diya, so many stringent clauses were there, then they relaxed 3, 4 years later. CD right from the beginning they were much more flexible, maturity period is from 3 months to 1 year, right from the beginning. Minimum issue size 10 lakhs, that means 2 CDs you have to buy, that is it. Minimum, 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 upper limit to any, okay. Then around 2001 and again in 2005 6, about 6 years back, they reduced the maturity period. This is very interesting to make the market competitive with call market, they reduced the maturity period to 7 days minimum maturity period. So, it can fluctuate between 7 days and 1 year that means, 1 week to 52 weeks na, in a year it can it can vary 
सो मच फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी सी डी मार्केट में ना एज बिफोर एज आई टोल्ड यू सी डीज आर ऑल आर सोल्ड एट अ डिस्काउंट और राइट एंड द डिस्काउंट रेट इज मार्केट डिटर्मेंड ओके बैंक कंसिडर दैम यूजली आर वेरी शॉर्ट टर्म टाइम डिपोजिट नाउ सी डीज आर फ्रीली ट्रांसफरेबल बट इन केस ऑफ सी डी आई डोट नो वेट इज इज स्टिल देयर एज अपोज टू सी पी दे हैड अ लॉक इन पीरियड ऑफ थर्टी डेज Lock in period means what? Once you buy the C C D for thirty days, one month, you cannot go to the secondary market and sell it. All right, you cannot go to the secondary market and sell it for one month. It is locked in. All right. Now, I will talk about a type of banks that exist in India. and i have given detailed description of indian banks they are called rrbs they are commercial banks but rrbs usually you and me who live and grow in an urban area don't know indian language for rrb is gramin bank they are commercial banks i will talk about them later you will find them mostly in semi urban rural areas rrb means the full word means regional rural banks i will talk about banks in the last topic now rbi gave permission to all scheduled banks to sell cds but not rrbs remember because rrbs were always have always been financially very weak and if they are given the right to sell cd they may start defaulting it because their funds management fund management is very poor rrbs don't the reason primary reason probably is they fund agricultural activities where there is a high rate of default or non performing assets what they call money is given money never comes back to the bank it's eaten up all right because of this also you have the farmer suicide cases they take loan not from rrbs it will be better they talking loan all often in the private money market unorganized money market from money lenders and then they cannot return and then they get into trouble so rrbs remember all banks were given permission but later when you mature in this course you realize there is another set of commercial banks which were created not many years ago which are new to indian economy called rrbs so the question may arise do rrbs sell cds no rrbs were not allowed to sell cd now is a very interesting thing one uh, last one one or two points um once a cd is sold once a cd is sold by a bank it's not like a share certificate that bank can call it back now i don't need the money return the money i give you a little bit of interest it cannot happen it has a very fixed deposit type character it matures on a particular date it's a usance promissory note like a bond or a fixed deposit it has a fixed maturity period and a discount rate is market determined it cannot change the discount rate all right you're going to change sorry आप जब खरीदे थे पांच परसेंट था लेकिन अभी तो डिस्काउंट रेट भाई दो परसेंट हो गया आपको खाली दो परसेंट इनकम दूंगा इट वोट हैपन लाइक इट्स वेरी फिक्स इंटरेस्ट रेट द इंटरेस्ट रेट दैट इज मैं ऑन दैट पेपर और एट विच यू बाय द डिस्काउंट रेट रिमेन्स देयर इवन एट द टाइम ऑफ मेच्योरिटी इफ द डिस्काउंट रेट इज द मार्केट एज फॉलन बैंक है प्रोमिस दैट एंड विल पे दैट इंटरेस्ट और राइट सेकेंडली इफ द सेल सी it cannot be bought back like a share third if you sell cd then suppose you buy i buy i am a bank i buy your cd your bank cd your bank of baroda and state bank which state bank often does i buy bank of baroda cds now i cannot show that cd as an asset and lend against it like unka bank ka cd hai mere paas cds are cannot be used as collateral CDs cannot be used as collateral. C O L L A T E R A L. Learn this language, the term collateral. Collateral means 
something which is valuable tangible asset that you keep with bank when you take a loan. Suppose I have a house and I need a loan, I mortgage my house to the bank that is showing my collateral to the bank, a company borrowing money from a bank, a company will have to show collateral to the bank, security essentially. So that in case I default, bank can take that confiscate that valuable tangible asset, sell it at whatever price they can, and recover as much money as possible from towards that loan that they said gave to you. So if I'm suppose today I want to go to the bank and ask for my for a loan for a flat, they might mortgage my flat till my I bought a flat, I start living in it, but the flat is still not in my name that is still in the hands of the, in the possession of the bank. Once I have repaid the entire amount, alright, the loan is over, then I take possession of that property. Similarly, I am going to go, there are advertisements of TV I have seen, I can take my gold, jewellery, other valuables, properties and show them as collateral to the bank when I want some money, it is often happen. companies also do that. Now you cannot use CD as a collateral, CDs are very valuable assets, money market assets, but CDs cannot be used as collateral, although it has a fixed maturity and a fixed interest payment, which is very risk free, even if it is risk free, RBI does not want that to be used as a security against which somebody can borrow or lend or whatever. All right. Last point, since the banks are there say buying and selling CDs often, buying and selling both they are doing because State Bank of India for instance always has surplus cash and when Bank of Baroda or Canada Bank wants to sell CDs often another bank like State Bank will purchase them. So now if you have a CD money with you, a Bank of Baroda, she has sold, she, I made her Bank of Baroda today, tomorrow I will make her some other bank. So, if she sells CDs and she has cash, RBI says, aha, this is just like fixed deposit, show the CRR and SLR on that. RBI does not exempt that money from CRR, SLR, like when banks accept my and your money, she or the bank will have to show the CRR and SLR to RBI, can keep CRR with RBI and show SLR, I will talk about that later. In case of CD, if she sells CD and collects some money, short term funds, she will still have to show the CRR and SLR to RBI. But in case of CP, the private companies, corporate sector selling CP, there is no concept of CRR or SLR there. Or when they sell shares and take money, there is no concept of CRR and SLR, which they have to show or keep with the company board or Securities and Exchange Board of India or something, capital market may have any, Lekin, in case of CD where banks are primarily involved, they have to show. So what happens if a non-bank sells CD or CD, banks do not only sell CD, if non-bank sells CD, I think this is an universal rule, non-banks suddenly will have to show CRR and SLR. So CDs universally in India, whoever sells them and borrows money in the money market will have to meet that obligation of CRR and SLR, alright. Have you understood the CD market, alright. Now when I looked into the data, who are the institutions buying CDs, I have found a general institution like mutual funds, mutual fund can also be a business of a commercial bank, you know that. Commercial banks can open a subsidiary which does business in mutual fund, that is not banking business, that is a mutual fund. Commercial banks have diversified, you understand diversification. I just do not produce cars only, I produce auto, I produce motorcycles also today, diversification. So commercial banks these days have diversified a lot, so although their main activity is commercial banking activity, but they have also diversified into uh, mutual funds that I am seeing from 1980s or 90s. So the main investors in, uh, in uh, CD market, because it is so risk less market, 
big banks are involved, non banks are involved. What I have seen the main buyers of CD are or investors in CD are mutual fund companies, mutual fund companies, there are lots of mutual fund companies. Uh, one advertisement is often I see these days on TV is Billa Sun, mutual fund company, Billa Sun, you will see that on TV often. Uh, earlier it used to be SBI Magnum, Canara Can, then um, UTI, the public sector mutual fund company, UTI is a government company. All right, the main investors here are mutual fund companies who also have a lot of cash to deal with which they want to invest. So, more or less this is the CD thing which is very similar to CP, but there are important differences between the CD and the CP market. Now, now I come to the one of the most complex markets, initially it was it has become simpler now the treasury bill market, but it is 242 treasury bill market will require an entire lecture to be delivered. This is the government bill market. So, I need to go through that very carefully. 